All right, taking a look at, trying to locate where I should put my pole for my solar tracker. Looking kind of east here, you can see that big tree that was blocking some of the sun in the mornings. It's got most of the leaves off of it. It's pretty typical. The lower leaves will stay on until springtime. Skyline basically is clear. Some trees across the street. Here's the uh, other side of the property. I had three trees here that were dead. <coughs> so I chopped them down, took care of those yesterday. So I got a pretty good shot to the west. And then I, I own the property up on top of this hill here. And I got this one tree that uh, it's still alive. So I'm going to keep that there. So let's look on the computer and see what might make the most optimal spot on the property. Okay, so I'm doing some planning for my solar tracker installation on my property. And I've shown this site before. It's called the NOAA Sol Solar Calculator, and I'll put a link to it uh, in the description on the video. But you can basically uh, find where you are located on the earth and zoom in on your property. So I've got my latitude longitude located here. And you can either enter that directly or you can actually just zoom in to your area and then put this pointer exactly on your property. So here I am in Minnesota. If I zoom down, you can see that it gets closer to, uh, let's see, we'll get this about right here, I think is the state view. So here I am near uh, the Twin Cities. <coughs> Go down a little bit further. I'm near this lake here, Orchard Lake. You actually get down. Here's the top view of the property. I can go even lower. And let's keep that view here. So you can see, uh, comparing this to my my video of the outside, you can see I got this big tree to the east. I've got the house facing basically south southwest with this being due south right here. And uh, I have some trees over in this edge of the property. But I pretty much uh, got a clear opening this way. Now if I look at uh, the one thing you can do is you can click on the sunrise. So uh, here's today's date, October 22nd. The sun came up basically in line with the edge of the house. And it's just missing the edge of the trees here. But this tree is pretty much clear of leaves right now. So I'm actually getting sun through there uh, even uh, earlier, like uh, a couple weeks ago, it was actually rising a little bit more north of east. I can also put where the sunset is going to be tonight, which is in this direction. So this is kind of the angle that the solar tracker, if I had it up today, would <coughs> be able to cover. Now I can I can grab this graphic and move it around and I can actually locate where the where I want to put the tracker. I got a couple ideas I could put it. My first thought was to put it near uh, the corner of this uh, sidewalk about right here but this is my driveway and I do a lot of snow throwing and definitely would interfere with that tracker. Then I thought somewhere out in the middle of the yard which would be probably ideal for solar but my neighbors would be pretty cranky. I had another thought of putting it up on top of the hill here which is actually uh, this is above the roof line and uh, that might work pretty well like right up here and then the other option would be down uh, the bottom of this ridge point here. Now if I take the uh, the longest day of the year which is June 21st or 22nd. You can see the, where the sun comes up. It comes very much north of east actually at a at an angle uh, of 59 degrees <coughs> and it, it sets in the west 
I guess I don't show it on here. You have to enter the exact time of the day and it would give the right uh, angle. So I don't have that shown on here. But you can see if I, uh, depending on where I located on the property, uh, the the only way I would really be able to get some early sun would be if I put it on this corner of the driveway here, or corner here, which I already talked about. But I got this big tree in the way. So there's really no way on the, and that tree is basically going to be covered with leaves by then. So if I put it out like the edge of the road here, I still, I could probably do it, but that would be just a, a terrible spot for for me to put it on the property. And I do want it somewhat near the house so I don't have the trench so far. So anyway, I just wanted to share this tool as a way of using uh, your property zooming in and putting the, the dates in here to find out what your, your uh, you can analyze where some of the best locations might be and what the effect of some shadow, shadowing would be. My, my thought is basically to put about right here. Uh, the sun will come up over the house and it will uh, clear the house pretty early on, the, on those days and I will get some sun through before and on the panels before the sun interferes with this tree over here and starts to cause shadow. As a matter of fact, you can somewhat guess about where that shadow would come in. So, my current thoughts is to do about right here. I get a good shot down and I got a pretty much clear shot all the way to the west, southwest, due south. My only issue is in the morning getting some shadowing from the house and then uh, I'll get some shadowing from that big tree until the uh, the sun clears that tree in mid-morning. So if we want to look at what it looks like on December 31st or December 21st, shortest day of the year you can see I basically have a, a very short solar day here in Minnesota on the shortest day of the year and uh, we'll have no problem with the tracker probably in any of the locations tracking the sun. So if I set it up here for the fall equinox which would be the same line as the spring equinox the sun is going to come up exactly east, exactly west and uh, move this around it'll kind of point if I line up the edge of the house It'll sh kind of show me where over in this corner that I should locate it. So somewhere about right there. You can also go to bing.com, B-I-N-G dot com, type in your address. And uh, they have a bird's eye view setting. So we zoom in here on the uh, Fearless Mansion starts to come into a good view here. So you can see uh, this is basically facing north so you got my tree to the east. You got these trees here to the west of which the all basically all of them have been taken down. And it kind of gives you a good view of uh, you know how where where the uh, where things would lie on the property. Obviously my solar panels I just put up this year so they're not on the uh, the bird's eye view photographs yet and uh, if I take a look looking east here are these trees here <coughs> that I've taken the taken down so loaded located about right there when the Sun comes up in the east northeast it'll rise up pretty fast clear the house give me very little shadowing on the panels if I locate there Pretty quickly, it'll be over top of this tree in the on the summer days, and I'll have pretty a pretty good long day of uh, of sun exposure with my tracker right in that location, and it's not uh, not in a position that the neighbors will get too uptight. So, my best get started. Talk to you later.